Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Silver Rose Books. Hey everyone, uh, my name's Erin, and today I'm going to be doing the Booktube newbie tag, um, which is only appropriate for a first video, I thought. And I do have a list of 10 questions that I'm going to go through, and hopefully by the end of this video you'll know a little bit more about me, about this channel, and yeah, it's a good way to get to know each other, I suppose. So without further ado, let's dive in. I started this channel for quite a few reasons, actually. Um, I just, I, I love books, really, just any shape, size, colour. And I started this channel mainly to share my love of books and comics and manga. I don't have many people in my life that are as passionate about books as I am. So I thought this would be a great way to meet people who have got similar interests to me, who have read the books that I've read, so we can have like long talks into the night. Uh, I'm also a filmmaker as well, I, I write and direct my own films. So I'm always looking for things to draw inspiration from as well, and books are just a great source of inspiration. So this kind of ties into my filmmaking career as well. So yeah, and I'll be linking the two quite a lot throughout the channel, so. Next question. I really want to talk about uh, comic books as well, as, as well as books and manga. Comics have been in my life since I was a very, very small child. I'm looking to start a few like shows slash playlists. I want to do comics on Sunday, where every Sunday I upload a video talking about a new uh, comic book and like I've got my DC ones here and my Marvel comics are also just behind me here. Obviously I'll be doing the standard uh, review videos as well of all the series that I've read. Fun things, I actually want to do uh, a few competitions. Like I love fan art when it comes to books because it's you don't really have like a film or a TV show to base it off. So the fan art is just from the reader's imagination of what they've read. So I really want to start doing like fan art competitions and things like that. Oh, what am I most excited for? Uh, the main thing I'm most excited for is definitely getting involved with the booktube community. Mainly just meeting new people, I suppose, and getting like a fresh perspective on the literature that I have loved since I was a child. So that's definitely one thing I'm really, really excited for. I love reading mainly because every time I pick up a new book to read, after like a couple of pages, I'm immediately transported into a different world. I'm transported into the world of that book that I'm reading and I become very, very attached to the characters and storyline, especially when it comes to uh, YA fantasy as well. I find that one really easy to like fully immerse myself in. And it's great inspiration and it definitely gets the imagination juices flowing, which is such a great help when it comes to filmmaking because it's obviously a really, really creative art. And I've read some truly incredible stories um, in the time that I've been reading. So that's just something I really, really love. I love storytelling. I love the art of storytelling. I love all the different ways that we tell stories, whether that's from cave paintings, films, TV shows, books. It's all about the stories. And yeah, I have a lot of fun reading. It would definitely have to be The Inheritance Cycle by Christopher Paolini. The first book is Eragon and it did subsequently get a film, but the film didn't do so well, so there's no more films on it, which is kind of sad, but maybe, maybe I could make films of the remaining books. Who knows? I do really highly suggest that uh, you read The Inheritance Cycle. It is so much fun to read. It's the book series that got me into enjoying books as much as I do now. And Christopher Paolini is just a fantastic author. To ask my favourite booktubers, I would ask, I would probably ask them why they joined the booktube community because I always find that really, really interesting. Um, I'd probably ask them what their favourite book is. I know that's kind of like an impossible question to answer for most people, but I'm always curious to see what people's favourite books are or series are, because I've read quite a few. Um, yes, probably probably just those two questions. Why did you start and what's your favourite book? Um, and then probably ask them if they'd want to grab a coffee at some point so we can continue the conversation. <laughs> I think there are 
challenges whenever you start like a new venture. So like, this is this is like a new new adventure for me, shall we say? Let's let, let's just be honest here. Like we're, we're all friends. Let's just be honest. I've had confidence issues for most of my life, um, which is why I've always stayed out of the spotlight and I've always stayed behind the camera rather than in front of it. Now I am in front of the camera, but hopefully, hopefully, I will overcome that with stars and fireworks going off and all that lot. I started reading from a really, really young age. Um, I, th I must have been about... That big? I don't know, how big are you when you're like five? <laughs> um, yes, so I've been reading since I was very, very young. So, and then I discovered Lord of the Rings and wow, yeah. I always will take my hat off, even, you know, take my proverbial hat off to J.R.R. Tolkien for creating The Lord of the Rings. Fantasy is like my favourite genre when it comes to films or TV shows and books and comics and manga, like fantasy will always, always be my favourite genre, mainly because of Lord of the Rings and just how amazing that whole world is. Literally anywhere. Uh, <laughs> My favourite places to read are probably on the sofa because that's where I have my whole um, setup. Because as I'm reading, I do annotate books uh, while I'm reading them. So I've got like a little memo pad, all my different coloured pens, my review journal, which is just kind of full of like my ranting thoughts while I'm reading. <laughs> Bed, bath, plane, train, park, beach, anywhere. I don't actually leave the house without a book in my bag. quite a lot of different books actually. I read quite a lot, so I read fantasy, action, romance. I also read academic books as well, which kind of informs my directing practice. So I do have a lot of film, filmmaking books that I do enjoy reading because I find them really, really interesting and it, it helps my career. But my favorite would have to be um, YA fantasy, I'd say, which is kind of common, I think. <laughs> I like the classics as well, um, so, you know, Tess the Durbrils, Charles Dickens, A Tale of Two Cities, the classic literature, Shakespeare as well, I do enjoy a bit of Shakespeare. When it comes to reading manga, um, again, my tastes are really, really varied in manga. My favourite manga series is actually a slice of life drama about two high school students attempting to live together. And it's just really funny and really wholesome and really easy to connect to. But I do read like fantasy manga as well. I really enjoy a lot of shonen, which is like Naruto, One Piece, Fairy Tail. Fairy Tail being like my favorite anime of all time. If you can't tell. My favorite comic books are actually DC comic books. So mainly focusing around like Batman and the Joker. I really love their storylines because they seem to be like the harshest, but also the most creative and the artwork is just stunning. Books that I also really enjoy are anything written by H.P. Lovecraft, uh, Edgar Allan Poe. I've got the complete Grimm's fairy tales as well, so they're always quite interesting. Again, that's still sort of like fantasy, but H.P. Lovecraft is more cosmic horror, I'd say. Yeah, I read like a wide variety of things that I will eventually be sharing with you all, so watch this space. Here is to the start of a brand new adventure, and I cannot wait to journey with you all, so yes. Thank you very, very, very much for watching and I will catch you in my next one.